back in the 1950s during the Cold War as scientists were exploring the technology that would lead to the invention of heat-seeking missiles. Psychology was looking at the cybernetics, same difference, of the subconscious mind and discovered that if ever there was a heat-seeking missile available to us, it was our very own subconscious mind. In other words, if you set your subconscious mind a target, it will go through the proverbial hell and high water to get there. Put it another way, if my life is at A at the moment, and I would love it to be at H, if I set my subconscious mind the target of H, then the subconscious mind will simply go and get it. It might go through A, C, F, K and H, but it will get there. One of the things that will stop it getting there is us thinking that we know better and that our thinking minds know that to get to H, I need to set myself milestones of B, C, D, E, F and G. Not only do I need to set myself milestones, I need to have detailed plans on how I'm going to achieve those milestones and get to H. This is the stuff of the thinking mind and you know what I'm about to say next. This is the stuff of nonsense. The old joke that if you want to make God laugh you should tell her your plans holds true. Planning is a nutter. I was going to say waste of time, but it's actually worse than that because it actually trips us up. Our thinking mind knows nothing in relation to how we can achieve what we would really, truly wish to achieve. But our subconscious mind, if it is set properly, knows exactly how to get there. And very often it will enlighten us on how to get there much more easily, much more effortlessly than we might otherwise think. So the message in today's short video is really simple. We've been talking about letting go for the last few weeks. We talked about letting go of worry, letting go of thought, and now I'm talking about you letting go of this crazy thought-fueled idea of planning. You don't need a plan. You need to know what the goal looks and feels like.